What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, change the resolution of your VirtualBox guest OS. So um, if you haven't seen the previous, uh, the previous video, it was on how to install Windows 8 on a uh, Mac OS X machine through VirtualBox, uh, so just check my channel or I'll annotate the video or leave the link in the description. But um, check that out first if you want to figure out how to get Windows 8 on your Mac. And what you would have realized is if you went to the screen resolution of Windows 8 through VirtualBox, you'll see that it only supports the resolutions that are um, as, uh, that are in a ratio of um, 4 by 3. Whereas, like me using my MacBook Pro, its screen ratio is, six, is 16 by 10 which means that you get little black bars to the side and <clears throat> that's just not really um, that good but there is a way around this and while I was researching a lot of people did say to install guest editions and I did install guest editions but I found that that totally killed the Windows 8 on through VirtualBox like um, it just completely froze, it became very slow, I couldn't do anything with it. But So I did a bit more research and I found that there is another way to change the resolution to support a custom resolution without having to um, without having to install guest editions. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is open up Terminal and then find out where your VirtualBox VMs folder is. And if you kept it as it should be, as default, it should be within your home directory, as you can see there. So now what we're going to do is we want to CD into the folder using terminal. So we're going to type in CD space tilde, which is your home directory, slash VIRT. And if you hit tab, it should auto-complete it for you, as it has for me. Then you hit enter. Now that you're in the VirtualBox VMs folder, what you want to do is write VBOX manage space set set extra data space global space GUI slash max guest oh, max guest resolution space any hit enter no error messages that's good now we want to type in vbox manage space set extra data space uh, add a quotation mark, then we're going to write the name of the virtual machine we want to change the resolution of. So for me and uh, you guys that watch my other video, it's going to be Windows space 8. Then end it, hit space again, start another one, type custom, custom video mode 1, end it, hit space, start another one. Now we're going to write the actual name, the actual resolution that we want to change it to. Um, so for me, I want to run at full resolution on a 13-inch MacBook Pro. So I'm going to type in 1280x, 800x, and then the depth, which is going to be 32. And then end it. Now, the mistake I made before was I, I put like Shift 8, like I made the little star icon instead of an X, and that will actually stop your virtual machine from working. So you want to make sure you have X, as in the X on your keyboard, instead of the star sign. Oh, and another thing, before before you even open up Terminal, you want to make sure that VirtualBox is closed so that it doesn't appear on your dock, and, or there isn't a little indicator underneath it. Now we're going to hit Enter. No error messages, which means that hopefully it has worked. You're free to quit Terminal now. So I'm just going to open up VirtualBox, and we'll see if it works. So just double-click on, on Windows 8 to start it. So as you can see here, it's uh, booting up. Now for me, whenever Windows is booting up, it always appears a little like stretched like that. No idea why. Doesn't really bother, bother me much because the rest of the operating system should be at native resolution, full resolution. Might I say that Windows 8 actually has quite a fast um, startup time, like even using a virtual machine, it's a lot faster than I thought it would be. So as you can see here, it does have these little bars to the side. 
So I'm just going to enter in a password for it. We will just wait for it to load. So hopefully what we should have done in the previous steps, it'll help, um, it'll get rid of this problem here we have with the black bars to the side. Because as you can see, uh, the virtual machine is running at a 4x3 resolution, which is not what we want. We want it in 16x10 or whatever the ratio is for your screen, or your resolution. Okay, so we have it open. So what we're going to do is open the desktop by clicking on the desktop tile, right click, uh, choose screen resolution, just wait for it to load. Okay, so um, now we click on resolution and look at that, it is added 1280 by 800 as a resolution that we can choose. Oh dear. So what, 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 what happened was before, if we didn't add all that terminal data, that, that option wouldn't be there. We'd only have resolutions that would make it 4x3, which means it would still stay with the same resolution, resolution with these black bars. And you can use guest editions to um, automatically scale the resolution, but that runs really slow on my MacBook. I don't know about other computers. I've never tried it but I assume it wouldn't be the fastest as well. So now, uh, thanks to a little bit of terminal work, we have been able to get the resolution that we requested. Gonna hit apply, uh, keep changes, hit okay. And as you can see, it has set the resolution to uh, 1280 by 800, which is the native resolution. So if I go right into the corner, swipe up, you can see the Windows 8 uh, hot corners are working at the actual corners as they should be and it isn't too slow. Mind you, it actually should be faster than it is right now but I do have a quick time recording open so um, I guess you, you can understand why it's running a little bit slower than it should be. So um, there you have it. That is how you can um, automatically you can change the resolution of a VirtualBox VM to run any resolution that you want. This is when I'd first gotten the Windows 8 um, release preview and I downloaded it and got it to work within VirtualBox as you see in my previous video. The only one issue that I had with it was that it would that VirtualBox only supported a 4x3 resolution which to be honest did get annoying for me um, but I did a bit of research online and that's how I found out that you can use terminal and enter in some stuff yourself to set it to a custom resolution. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe.